All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x is equal to 50. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. In my solution, I'm going to first rewrite my equation. So five to the power of x is equal to 50. And I'm going to start by dividing both sides by five. So now I get 5 to the power of x over 5 is equal to 10. And 5 here, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1. And there are a few exponent properties that I think you guys should know. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So phi to the power of x over phi to the power of one, that's gonna equal five to the power of x minus one and I get this is equal to 10. So now as you see, we have a more complex exponent equation. We started off with five to the power of x equals 50. Now we have five to the power of x minus one is equal to 10. So to solve this, what I'm actually gonna do is use logarithms. So I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 5 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. And there are actually a few logarithm properties that I think you guys should know. So to start, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. Finally, if I have something in the form log of a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, I have log five to the power of x minus one, and think of, I can think of x minus one as b. So if I move this over, I get x minus one times log five is equal to log 10. Now from here, our main focus is to find the value of x, and to do that, we have to get rid of this log five. Well, the only way to get rid of the log five is divided by both sides. So these two log fives cancel out, and I'll be left with x minus one is equal to log 10 over log five. Now, another important logarithm property is that log 10 is actually equal to one. And actually, along with that, log 100 this is equal to two. And log 1,000 this is equal to three, so it goes so on and so forth. So if I replace log 10 with one, I get x minus one is equal to one over log five. And from here, I'm gonna add one on both sides. 
So I get x is equal to 1 over log 5 plus 1. Now log 5 is equal to approximately 0 0.69897. So I have x is equal to 1 over 0 0.69897 plus 1 and 1 over log 5 is equal to 1.43. So 1.43 plus 1, that's equal to 2.43. So 2.43 is my answer.